Hi there, I'm Dr Catherine Hubbard and I'm one of the programme directors for our BSc Biology programme at the University of Hull. And this is a new programme for this academic cycle, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about the programme, why we think uh, it'd be a great idea if you came to study it with us at Hull, and some tips for uh, making your university applications. So why should you do BSc Biology and why should you do our degree programme at Hull? Well, I think one of the real strengths of our programme is we're not going to pigeonhole you into being a particular type of biologist. We're going to keep your options open, but also allow you to specialise. So you might already have quite a good idea that you know that you're really interested in genetics, or you know that you're more at the ecological end of the spectrum, or you might just be generally interested in biology and want to continue it forward. And our programme structured so you can do that. So you can either keep a breadth of biology because you're interested in the whole subject, or maybe you want to become a biology teacher. You want to have that breadth going forward into a teaching career, or you can specialise within the programme. So you can specialise in a more sort of molecular genetics direction, or you can specialise in a more sort of ecological direction. The programme allows you the flexibility to do either of those things. So the way the programme is structured is the first year you kind of have modules that go across the breadth of the subject uh, and then as you go through your programme there's still some core modules to develop your core skills, to develop your lab skills, to develop your writing skills. But then as you go through the programme you're able to specialise more and more. So what are you going to study? Well in the first year you've got the following modules. So you've got cells and organelles, which is my module, which is very much at the cellular molecular end. You've got microbiology. You've got diversity of life, you've got evolution, and you've got principles of genetics. Those are your core modules, so that gets you a really good breadth of subjects uh, across biology. And then you've got the choice of human physiology, which is run by the biomedical sciences department. So if you're interested in humans, there's that module for you. Or if you're more interested in ecology, then you can take the ecology module, which also has an optional dive training component. So in the first year, it's all about that breadth of knowledge, having a really good understanding of all the different types of biology, letting you try out some different types of biology, um, and uh, then seeing where you're interested. Are. In the second year you've still got some core modules, so um, you've got genetic analysis, you've got molecular evolution and genomics, and you've got vertebrate zoology, so those are your core modules, so uh, you're you know, building on those skills in the first year to become uh, more expert in those areas. And then you've got a range of different modules that you can start to choose from, um, so if you're interested in animal behaviour, for example, you can take our, our behavioural ecology module, or if you're more interested in the sort of molecular end, uh, so I have a module called cellular regulation and bi biotechnology, there are modules that are run in combination with the biochemistry program so you can start to tailor your interest half of it is core and half of it is modules of your own interest and then in the final year you have to do uh, some sort of what we call capstone experience so a big module that kind of lets you develop lots of different skills so that might be a traditional independent research project so you might join someone's research group and answer a particular research question or we do offer alternative styles of projects. So there might be a group project, there might be a science communication project. We've got a module called Biology and Education where you can have your project is based in schools. So if you're thinking about becoming a teacher, that can help you prepare for a PGCE, for example. We've also got our new uh, genomics project in the final year. So uh, that's run by myself and Dave Lunt. So we're going to take um, uh, bacteria, we will uh, we'll learn to culture it, we'll do various different things in the lab, we'll sequence its genome, so we'll get the whole genome sequence, we'll do some what's called bioinformatics, which is like computational analysis of what's in the genome, and then you'll make a, uh, come up with a hypothesis based on the genome that we'll go and test in the lab. So you're, you've got some sort of final year project, as I say, that might be lab-based project, it might be a field-based project, or it might be science communication, education, public policy. There are lots of different project options, and they change each year depending on what staff are interested in and what we can offer. But there'll be something that suits you in there. And then we have uh, a bunch of optional modules, so most of your modules in the final year are optional, so you could do everything um, from, uh, there are biomed modules in there, so there's cancer biology for example, there's human genetics, uh, if you're at the ecology end uh, you could do our module sex and social behaviour, which is all about sort of mating systems and why, you know, why are males showy in some species, why you know, do the males care for their offspring, all of those sorts of questions in there. 
there's a field trip um, so if you want to do an international field trip you can do that and it doesn't matter whether you've done ecology modules or molecular model modules the field trips are open to everyone uh, so there's always there's always some exciting exotic uh, destinations around the world but there's also always a free alternative within the UK so everyone can do a field trip if they want to there's conservation model there's so many different things that you could do and as I say you can really tailor it to what you're interested in and then the program finalizes there's a final year module where we think about biology in terms of the future of biology where's biology going and in particular how is biology going to make the world a better place so thinking about linking it to things like the UN sustainability goals so how can biology help us in terms of food security or in clean water provision or conservation or human disease so you'll be thinking about what have I learned during my degree no matter what type of biologist you are where's that going how's that going to make the world a better place how's it used in industry so we're thinking about your future and where that biology is going so it's not just going to be sort of textbook based we're thinking about real world problems as much as we can So another thing, reason I think you should come and do biology with us is just how friendly a department we are. We're a little bit smaller than some other departments, so you're not going to be lost in a huge sea of biologists. We'll get to know you really, really well. And our staff are great, and they're so passionate and interested in their subjects. So we've got uh, Dave Lunt, for example, is interested in the genomics and the bioinformatics in the end of there. So what's in a genome? Why have some organisms got absolutely massive genomes? Uh, what can nematodes tell us uh, about, uh, about genomics? So if genes your thing, Dave, you'll really get on with. Uh, we have Domino who's interested in the behaviour of fish and how that links to what's in their genome. So uh, she's particularly looking at the relationship between serotonin uh, and fish behaviour. So uh, have we got fish that have got different serotonin receptors in their genome and do they behave differently in the real world? Uh, who else have we got? We've got Bern and, uh, Bern Hanfling and Laurie Lawson Handley who are really great with the sort of link between ecology and genetics. So they use a technique called eDNA, environmental DNA, to be able to take, for example, a sample of pond water and work out what species live there. Um, so rather than having to count species individually, we can take the we can take this pond water, sequence the DNA in the pond water, and that actually gives us much more accurate estimations of, uh, of who lives there. And we can detect things like invasive species, for example. We've also got access to the biochemistry programme, so there's quite a lot of overlap between biology and biochemistry teaching for those of you at the lab end. So, for example, uh, Pat Harrison, who is the biochemistry programme leader, also teaches on the biology programme, so we teach in microbiology modules, uh, and thinking about things like... Uh, antimicrobial resistance and antibiotic resistance and you know can we uh, engineer that so we can uh, think about uh, that in uh, either an environmental or a clinical setting so we've got lots and lots of different uh, areas of expertise as a department I've only mentioned a few people or more than that but I think, as I say, we're a really friendly department. We really like to get to know you quite early on. You're not going to feel lost. You're not going to feel uh, like you're one in a thousand students. You'll have your own personal supervisor. So you'll have an academic that you that you work with quite closely. He'll oversee both your academic progress and things like your career development. So what do you want to do as a career? How can we help you get work experience in that area? How can we help you to write your CV to get that? Are there any internships that we know about that you might be able to apply for? So your personal supervisor becomes a really important person you have a relationship with. The other thing I'd say that um, we've really strengthened in our new uh, degree is not only the, the breadth of biology that we've got but also the technical training in it so we're really bumping up the technical training uh, and letting you have uh, access to really very high-end equipment we've been we've been given a very large budget to buy lots of shiny toys which are arriving this summer and I'm very excited by uh, so that includes things like fluorescence microscopes uh, plate readers that allow us to detect fluorescence um, and sort of uh, allows us to do things like bacterial growth curves. We've got some really high-end genomics uh, stuff, uh, uh, some genomics equipment. So, for example, we can sequence uh, genomes very quickly and easily in our own laboratories. We don't have to send that away for sequencing. Um, and we've got various different um, tools that will help us to do that. We've got tools to help us look at gene expression. So we've just had a lot of investment in molecular biology kit, which I'm really hoping that we can uh, get the maximum use out of uh, with our undergraduates. 
So there's going to be some shiny high-end things. Also, if you're a fieldwork person, there'll be plenty of opportunities for fieldwork, including the residential field trip in your final year. So introducing you to key monitoring um, techniques. If you decide that ecology is your thing, uh, I'm not an ecologist, but I'm sure uh, that there's some fantastic uh, opportunities out there uh, in the in the fields of, sort of learning how to do habitat surveys, how to you know, develop good uh, fieldwork experiences. But what we're also going to make sure you get through our degree is we're going to get to do the shiny stuff. We're going to do you know all the exciting stuff, but we're also going to train you in the fundamentals. So can you make up solutions? Can you make up buffers? Can you make up sterile agar plates? Can you prepare your own chemicals? Uh, can you risk assess things in the lab? Can you do an ethics assessment in the lab? So all of those kind of bread and butter sort of stuff uh, we're going to train you in too so that you feel confident by the end of the degree in being your own technician we have got technicians who will obviously help you with that but being able to be safe and competent in a lab so if someone gives you a recipe for a particular experiment you need to make this it's like oh, okay i know how to make things i'll go off and do that in a safe and responsible way so we're also going to make sure you've got that really fundamental technical training and that will be really useful if you decide you wanted to become a lab technician, uh, if you decided that you wanted to uh, go and work in a lab-based career, or if you would become to become a school teacher, or you want to go into a research-based environment. Having that fundamental lab training is also going to be really valuable to you going forward. So shiny, expensive, uh, fancy kit, yes. Basics of making stuff up and making sure you're happy and confident in the lab, also part of our plans for the programme. So if you are thinking about applying to us, what do you need to do? Well, obviously you need to apply for us uh, during the UCAS cycle. Um, so you know, the same as any other university. So you have to fill in your UCAS form and write your personal statement. In that personal statement, what do we want to find out uh, from our prospective BSc biologist? Well, we want to, uh, want to uh, know that you're going to be really interested in the course. OK, so what is it about biology that really excites you? Is it genetics and genomics? Is it microbiology? Is it behaviour of animals? What is it about your course that you're really excited about? Have you got any evidence that you're going to be excited about it? So things like, have you done summer schools? Have you attended guest lectures? Have you read really good popular science books? Have you managed to get yourself some uh, work experience in a relevant environment? Have you been out on conservation volunteering efforts? All of those sorts of things, put them in your personal statement because that demonstrates your commitment to it. We also want to want to know that you're going to be really successful at university. You're going to you're going to enjoy it. You're you've got the capability to succeed in it and to really get the most out of it. You know, for your future careers, whatever it is that you want to do. So uh, we want to know that you're sort of a well-rounded individual. Horrible phrase, but uh, that's what we want to know. So things like have you uh, done? Uh, have you got relevant work experience? Have you done sport or drama or music or anything to a reasonable level? Um, because all of those sorts of things help us to see that, A, you're not just a sort of, you know, uh, you're not thinking only about your academic course, you're thinking more broadly, but those things are really great to demonstrate communication, teamwork, organisation, time management, which are all key skills that a student needs. So if you've got hobbies and interests that you think are relevant, tell us about them, we want to know about them. Uh, I think we also, if you have had uh, reason during your A-levels or BTECs or wherever you've come from that you've maybe feel that you haven't been able to study as well as uh, you might have done, so let's say you've had a long-term health uh, condition that's impacted on your studies, if you feel comfortable telling us about that in your personal statement, then do so, because it can make the difference. If you're on the borderline of are we going to make you an offer or not, then knowing actually that you've succeeded against some adverse personal circumstances, that shows us again that you've got the tenacity, you've got the drive and the commitment to do well in your degree. So your personal statement, we do read every single personal statement that comes into the department. They're not auto-scored or anything. We read every single one. And we really want to see your passion for the subject, uh, kind of you as an individual, what is it that makes you you? What is it going to make you someone that we want to interact with on a daily basis? Um, and also, have you got the ability to succeed? And that's both academically, but also in terms of your personal drives and all of those sorts of things. So if you've got any questions about uh, the course, then there's information on the website. 
Uh, but please do contact us. We love it when we get prospective students uh, emailing us with queries about the degree. So um, my contact details are on the slide there. So I'm just k.hubbard at hull.ac.uk. You can also contact uh, other members of the, of the programme team or the admissions team. We'd love to hear from you to discuss the programme in more detail. We'd love to see you on open day or applicant day. Um, so if you're thinking about it, have a look on the university website and book yourself onto an applicant day or an open day uh, so that we can get to, uh, get to know you and answer any questions. Uh, but if you can't make it uh, or you're just maybe starting to think about it, drop us an email, tell us who you are, tell us what your queries are and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope that's been uh, really informative for you in thinking about our BSc Biology programme. It's given a flavour of the sorts of things that are there. I'm sure I've missed out exciting stuff that's on the website. That's just a sort of overview of the sorts of things that we do here at Biology at Hull. Don't forget we also have uh, BSc Biochemistry, Zoology and Marine Biology. So maybe you think, actually, maybe biology is not for me. Have a look at our other courses. Uh, they might be more up your street. Uh, but I hope that you've seen our biology course uh, it allows you flexibility, it gives you a breadth of biology, it allows you to specialise. Uh, we've got practical elements uh, running all the way through it, but fundamentally uh, I think we're quite friendly, I think we're quite approachable. Students really like us, they always rate us quite highly uh, in the NSS, which is the sort of end of year university survey. They always say how friendly the department was, how supportive we are, particularly for students facing adverse circumstances. Uh, so students with caring responsibilities, students with long-term health conditions. We have a reputation for supporting those sorts of students really, really well. Um, so I hope that that has uh, excited you about our BSc Biology programme. And if you'd like any more information, please just drop me an email. Happy to answer any questions.